Once again, we come to the God who has given us this day as we gather to give thanks and to pray. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. So let's take a moment or two, recognising he has come and is ahead of us for this time. Romans 1 verse 7, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. So again we reflect on this day day God has given, maybe with challenges, maybe with joys, maybe just fairly ordinary, he has been with us. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Psalm 41, verse 13. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Praise be to the Lord, our God from everlasting to everlasting. How easy do we find it? Do you find it? Do I find it? To praise God all the time. As life goes on through each day, having God's praise on our lips all the time doesn't seem a possibility. We're also called to pray on all occasions. And yet we have life. Life carries on. But what do we notice? How do we keep coming back to recognising that God is worthy of our praise? Some of us are those who are glass half empty people. Others of us are glass half full people or very full. And this can be a challenge too. How do we look and honour God, particularly when life is hard? My experience is that the more we look to God, the more we look for good things, for the things of his kingdom, for things that are his nature and turn those to praise, it changes me. It helps me to look and see them more often. So from everlasting to everlasting, he is worthy of our praise. It might be that we find more things to praise him for. It might be that we come and recognise that he is worthy of praise from the creation of the world to its ending. And think of everlasting to everlasting that way. Whatever we do, though, let's ask him to help us to praise him, to look, to notice and to be changed ourselves as we do. Loving God, help us. You who alone are worthy of our praise. Thank you. Amen. Be present, O Lord, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
and together we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. So may the one who makes us dwell in safety, who holds us in love and peace, assure you of his presence and his love this night. Amen. Bless you and sleep well. <laughs>